all, this is Sue Chemnitz. Thanks for joining me here. I wanted to make just a little uh, video for my blogging audience, just for you all. I did have to load it on YouTube so you can view it there afterwards, because um, that's where I'm at right now in doing these little videos. But I'm glad that you can join me today and I'm glad that you're watching and I hope that you stay until the end. Um, this is my little spring project, my 2017 spring project. And what it is, it's a little journal full of pages, a little mini journal full of pages on mark making. And I think I've uh, mentioned those a little bit in the blog. And I just thought I would show you what it turned out like. I just finished binding it today, which was almost successful. I'll show you that later. Um, I do really like the cover. And I just took a, a piece of paper that's a that's a jelly art print, a jelly print, and uh, glued it onto the cardstock that I used throughout this, and that's all the cover is. So, here we go. Um, here's my title page, a mark making adventure. I like the white, I like the little scribble lines over there. This one is, um, again, just a few scribble lines, uh, just kind of at the end when I was uh, getting into it. Welcome to spring 2017. This has been, as you know, kind of a theme for me, this flower. So this was an experiment that I had done. And it's actually one of the mark making, but it's erase. So I put my stencil on there. I put some orange paint on there, put my stencil on there, and then picked up the orange paint out of the flower part. So I really, I like how that turned out. And like I said, I used that a lot in the little fringe journal that I made. This was my old title page before I made my new title page. So there you go, marks. But this one is repetition. So there's some repeated dots throughout there and even the repeated circles from the stamps I like. This one is layers. So it's actually layers of some things I ripped out of a magazine with a little enhancement. This one is arrows. Arrows is one of my favorites because I, because I like this particular stamp. And I like my white space. This one is my little mistake that I made in putting this together. I actually bound these two together and then I couldn't figure out how I was going to bind the other signatures to it so I put it all in the book but this actually ripped through already. So I'm just going to take those I decided and glue those and it'll be fine. This is my black and white day and you all know I'm not the big black person so I wasn't really a little heavy on the black and then I tried even more. I just you know sometimes sometimes you have to practice things and sometimes you just stick with them and then decide you're still not liking it. This one is stacked. That's what the prompt was that day. Uh, the prompt here was filled in and you know I'm, I think sometimes when you're mark making you're not supposed to make recognizable things but maybe you can. I guess you can just kind of do what you want to because it's your own little mini journal really. So that's filled in. Uh, I did put some, I think, I'm, maybe I mentioned or not, I did put some devotional stuff in here just because I like to do that. So this one says I send the helper. And this was round. Kind of looks like we're sending the helper into a mess, doesn't it? <laughs> but that's okay, I like it. Um, this one is clustered. That's you, peeps, you, my little peeps, my little blog people, and I clustered, um, just like in the art. This one is blown by the spirit. I don't know what this day was, if it was um, scribbles or something, I'm not sure. I had jotted them on here, but I wasn't always on my calendar that you can see here, but I wasn't always really good at, first of all, I wasn't good at doing it every day, and second of all, I, I just, I'm not sure I always wrote down what it was supposed to be. This is actually just a sketch calling in the rain, and I think I've mentioned that before, and we, sh we sure still need rain, so hopefully there's more on its way. Ext, this is my Ext page. This is a horizontal page. This is one of my favorites. Just these birds, they just get me every single time. I tell ya, it's got all my favorite colors on, the bright colors and the orange and the pink, and I just like all of that. This one on this day was just one, so that fit in nicely. Um, I did kind of try and plan things so that they went together, uh, the two pages that were next to each other. I love this one too, the spirit in me, and it just feels like there's a, a connection always there. And this was vertical, vertical day. So, you know, it's kind of amazing to me how little you can put on. This is vertical because it's got those strong verticals, but I only needed three and a half. And that's it. That's, I, you know, sometimes I just don't want to take it too far because that always wrecks it for me. 
Um, teach me your ways, Lord. This was pinpoint. Pinpoints are actually one of my favorite things. Not that I always do a whole ton of them. I like just a few, but this was fun. This was a fun page. This was a really fun page, too. It's got some layers on it. Um, this is something from a jelly print plate, and then uh, it's actually stripes. So here's a stripe, here's a stripe, and here's some stripes going um, horizontally. This is encircled. This is, I like this page too. And sometimes I look at it, I'm not sure exactly why I like them, but I started with this piece of paper up here and then just kept on going. Um, this one is covered. Ta da! I like that. Be with the one who makes you happy. This one is parallel. And I have a stencil actually that has parallel lines on it, so I used that and then put some, put some more parallel lines on it. So, and this was also this was a prompt by somebody else, Robin Marie Smith, and I haven't been following her, her prompts very well lately. But this one, B, makes you happy, and you had to fill in the blank. And I like to be with the one who makes you happy. I like that, and I think I put that on my Facebook page with a picture of Randy cooking dinner, so it's a good thing. This one is spiral. There's a flower in there with some spiral lines going through it. This one I really liked, numerous. Um, just all the little leaves, that just makes me happy too. And there's a little orange coming through there and a little orange up there, and yep, that makes me. And of course, some sweaters. This one um, is squared. Um, square squig squiggles, square squiggled squares. There you go. Oh my gosh. I, I do really enjoy those. I like that just free flowing and I'll probably work a little bit more on those free flowing lines. This one is odd. So there's actually an odd number of boxes there and then there's three on this side and one on that side. I like this one too. It's very, it's very um, calming to me. So, um, and yet there's a little energy in those lines. This one is even, which I put a ha next to that because I have no idea what any of that has to do with even. And that's how sometimes it goes. And then this is the, just the um, inside cover connected. Um, just the whole thing is connected. And I'm so happy that I finished off my journal because I like finishing a project. I don't like thinking that I didn't take something to completion. So I like that and I love this back page too as much as I love the front page. So. There you have it. Um, what did I learn? I, I wanted to make just a little, I want to adjust some notes on what did I learn? Mark making, um, it was a good thing to try new things, but it was, it's not really, it's not really me. See my little notes here. Um, it doesn't relax me, it makes me want to move on, I think is part of it. And then what did I learn? I learned that I like white. It, it, it gives me a sense of a peaceful spot I like thinking about my faith while I'm making art. I like dots, and I like playing with printing plates. So there you go, Spring Project 2017. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, don't forget to share the video with a friend who you think might be interested or who, or who just needs a little highlight and a little brightening up in their day. And, and I love all you guys. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. Bye.